Hello, this is Richard again and you're watching Devotion Today. Once upon a time, there ruled a very generous king. He was known for his kindness. Every day, two beggars would visit the king and one was old and other was very young man. When the king gave alms to the older man, the latter would always say, God provides. The younger beggar other than said, a king provides when given alms by the king. The king got irritated and thought, the older one keeps saying, God provides, God provides. So what is the secret behind it? When it is I who give him food, the next day he told them to walk down an abandoned lane, one by one. When he had placed a purse filled with gold, he asked the younger man to go first. Surely, when he finds the gold, the other will realize that it is I who provides, reason the king. The man walked down, wondering why the king had sent him here. Perhaps he wants me to enjoy the peace of his beautiful road, or I should walk down it with my eyes closed, I guess. As he did so, he missed the purse of gold on the ground. The older beggar walked down next and found the purse himself. The king questioned them later. Did you find anything on the road? He asked, looking at the younger one. No, your majesty, it was a beautiful road, he replied. But I did, I found a purse of gold. As I always say, God provides, said the older one. The displeased king then called the younger beggar aside. This is for you, he said, giving him a pumpkin. He had filled it with the silver coins, which he was sure the beggar would not miss. Surely now the older one will realize who provides, he thought. As the younger beggar walked down the road with the pumpkin, he wondered what to do with this pumpkin that the king has given him. He was trying to reason out what is the reason that the king gave him the pumpkin. I cannot cook this pumpkin either, neither I can eat it raw. What will I do with the pumpkin? So he was trying to figure out, he thought. And later he suddenly he caught a sight of a shopkeeper. And the shopkeeper agreed here are a few coins for it, he said, and took the pumpkin. The beggar went away so happily. At last, he made a few coins from the pumpkin, the beggar thought. And, and also, he thought that his king is so generous. He thought praising his own king. Soon after, the older beggar walked by the shopkeeper's shop, begging, Spare an old man a coin, he said. The shopkeeper saw him and felt sorry for him. After all, I have no use for the pumpkin. So let him have it, the shopkeeper thought. He called him and gave him the pumpkin. The older beggar took the pumpkin back to his hut. Oh, I can make something from it, he thought. Taking, taking out a knife to cut it. Much to his delight, he found the pumpkin filled with silver coins. Oh, he acknowledged, God always provides. God is great, he thought. The next morning, the king eagerly waited for the beggars. When they reached, he asked the younger one, Did anything exciting happen to you yesterday? No, your majesty, but I did earn a few extra coins by selling the pumpkin you gave me came the reply. The king was dismissed. What about you? He asked the other one. Oh, I was so blessed, your majesty. Yesterday, the shopkeeper gave me a pumpkin and when I went home and cut it, I found it filled with silver coins. And as I always say, God provides. The king gave up having learned his lesson. My dear brothers and sisters, we see a similar instance in the Bible. In 1 Kings 19.18, when God feeds Elijah, 
It says he arose and did eat and drink and went in the strength of that meat 40 days and 40 nights. Here all the strength supplied to us by a gracious God is meant for service, isn't it? Not for wantonness or boasting. But when the prophet Elijah found the cake baked on the coals and the cruise of water placed at his head, and as he lay under the juniper tree, he was no gentleman to be gratified with dainty fare that he might stretch himself at his ease. Far otherwise, he was commissioned to go 40 days and 40 nights in the strength of it. Journeying towards the Mount Horeb, it was called the Mount of God. When the master invited the disciples to come and dine with him, after the feast was concluded, he said to Peter, feed my sheep. Further, he goes on adding, follow me. Even thus it is with us, my dear brothers and sisters. We eat the bread of heaven that we may expend our strength in the master's service. We come to the Passover and eat of the paschal lamb with lion's girt and staff in hand so as to start off at once when we have satisfied our hunger. Some Christians are for living on Christ but are not so anxious to live for Christ. Earth should be a preparation for heaven and heaven is the place where saints feast most and work most. They sit down at the table of our Lord and they serve him daily and night in his temple. They eat of heavenly food and render perfect service. Believer, in the strength you daily gain from Christ, labor from him. Some of us, some of us have yet to learn much concerning the design of our Lord and giving us his grace. We are not to retain the precious grains of truths as the Egyptian mummy held the wheat for ages without giving it an opportunity to grow. We must sow it and water it. So why does the Lord send down the rain upon the thirsty earth and give the genial sunshine? Is it not that these may all help the fruits of the earth to yield food for man? Even so the Lord feeds and refreshes our souls that we may afterwards use our renewed strength in the promotion of His glory. My dear brothers and sisters, these words have really encouraged me and I believe God is my provider and He always cares for me. If you are blessed with this word, keep watching these messages. God bless you. Shalom.